infrared astronomy, study of astronomical objects through observations of the infrared radiation that they emit. Various types of celestial objects including the planets of the solar system, stars, nebulae, and galaxies give off energy at wavelengths in the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, that is, from about 1 micrometer to 1 millimeter. The techniques of infrared astronomy enable investigators to examine many such objects that cannot otherwise be seen from the Earth because the light of optical wavelengths that they emit is blocked by intervening dust particles. Infrared astronomy originated in the early 1800s with the work of the British astronomer Sir William Herschel, who discovered the existence of infrared radiation while studying sunlight. The first systematic infrared observations of stellar objects were made by the American astronomers W. W. Cobalance, Edison Petit, and Seth B. Nicholson in the 1920s. Modern infrared techniques, such as the use of cryogenic detector systems, to eliminate obstruction by infrared radiation released by the detection equipment itself, and special interference filters for ground-based telescopes were introduced during the early 1960s. By the end of the decade, Jerry Nershbeyer and Robert Layton of the United States had surveyed the sky at the relatively short infrared wavelength of 2.2 micrometers and identified approximately 20,000 sources in the northern hemispheric sky alone. Since that time, balloons, rockets, and spacecraft have been employed to make observations of infrared wavelengths from 35 to 350 micrometers. Radiation at such wavelengths is absorbed by water vapor in the atmosphere, and so telescopes and spectrographs have to be carried to high altitudes above most of the absorbing molecules. Specially instrumented high-flying aircraft such as the Kuiper Airborne Observatory and the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy have been designed to facilitate infrared observations near microwave frequencies. In January 1983 the United States, in collaboration with the United Kingdom and the Netherlands, launched the Infrared Astronomical Satellite, IRAS, an unmanned orbiting observatory equipped with a 57cm. 22-inch, infrared telescope sensitive to wavelengths of 8 to 100 micrometers in the infrared spectrum. At these wavelengths, IRAS made a number of unexpected discoveries in a brief period of service that ended in November 1983. The most significant of these were clouds of solid debris around Vega, Fermilhaut, and several other stars the presence of which strongly suggests the formation of planetary systems similar to that of the Sun. The other important findings included various clouds of interstellar gas and dust where new stars are being formed and an object, designated 1983 terabytes, thought to be the parent body for the swarm of meteoroids known as Geminids. IRAS was succeeded in 1995-98 by the European Space Agency's Infrared Space Observatory, which had a 60cm telescope with a camera sensitive to wavelengths in the range of 2.5 to 17 micrometers and a photometer and a pair of spectrometers that, between them, extended the range to 200 micrometers. It made significant observations of protoplanetary disks of dust and gas around young stars, with results suggesting that individual planets can form over periods as brief as 20 million years. It determined that these disks are rich in silicates, the minerals that form the basis of many common types of rock. It also discovered a large number of brown dwarfs objects in interstellar space that are too small to become stars but too massive to be considered planets. The most advanced infrared space observatory is a US satellite, the Spitzer Space Telescope, which is built around an all beryllium 85 cm primary mirror that focuses infrared light on three instruments a general purpose infrared camera, a spectrograph sensitive to mid-infrared wavelengths, and an imaging photometer taking measurements in three far infrared bands. Together the instruments cover a wavelength range of 3.6 to 180 micrometers. The most striking results from the Spitzer's observations concern extrasolar planets. 
the Spitzer has determined the temperature and the atmospheric structure, composition, and dynamics of several extrasolar planets. This article was written, revised and updated by Encyclopedia Britannica.